the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hi, my name is Bobby. This is my friend Piper and her puppy Jojo. We are learning about the fruit of the Spirit in Bible class. The fruit of the Spirit are things that make us like Jesus. One of the most important fruit of the Spirit is love. Love means we care very much about other people. My mommy and daddy love me. They take care of me and make sure I have what I need. Piper loves her puppy Jojo. She feeds him, gives him baths, plays with him, and makes sure he's as happy as he can be. We also love other people. One way we love others is to do good things for them, even if we don't know them. When we do this, we are showing the kind of love Jesus has for us. Jesus told us a story about a man who was hurt and needed help. One day, a man was traveling. Some bad men stopped him and hurt him. Then they took all of all his money and left him all alone and hurt. Two men came by but did not stop to help. Finally, another man came by and stopped to help the man. This man did not know the man who was hurt, but he helped him anyway. The man took the hurt man to the to a place to stay where he could be taken care of. He even paid for all his care. Jesus told us that the true friend of the man was the one who stopped to help him, even though he did not have to. That's how God loves us and wants us to love others. Jesus is happy when we show love to others, just as Jesus loves us. This week, let's look for ways we can show that we love someone. Bye! Hi, my name is Bella. I like to ride my bike at the park with my friends. We are studying the fruit of the Spirit in Bible class. The fruit of the Spirit are things that make Jesus happy. This week, we learned about joy. We learn that joy means you are very, very happy. Our teacher told us a story about joy that Jesus told. One day, a woman lost one of her coins. She was so sad. She looked all over her house, but couldn't find it. She looked under the bed and in the closet and under the rug, but still couldn't find it. Then she swept the floor and found the coin. She was so happy that she told everyone that she had found it. Jesus said this is how God feels when someone comes back to him. I like to be happy, and I want others to be happy. I try to do good things for people so they will be happy too. This week, let's be happy and help others to be happy too. Hi, my name is Bobby. Last night, we had a terrible thunderstorm. At first, I was so afraid, but my mommy and daddy were there, so I was not afraid anymore. In Bible class, we are learning about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are things that make Jesus happy. This week, we studied peace. One time, Jesus was in a boat with his friends. They were out in the sea when a terrible storm started. Jesus was asleep in the boat, but his friends were afraid and were trying to keep the water out of the boat so it would not sink. One of the men woke Jesus up and asked him to save them. Jesus asked them why they were afraid. He then told the, the storm to stop, and it did. We can stop being afraid because we have mommy and daddy to take care of us. We can also stop being afraid because of Jesus. This week, when you are afraid, remember that Jesus is our friend and will take care of us. Bye! Hi, my name is Molly and this is my friend Piper. Tomorrow is my birthday and I can't wait. 
That sounds like what we learned in Bible class about the fruits of the Spirit, patience. Remember our teacher said that the fruits of the Spirit are things that make Jesus happy. When we are patient, we make Jesus happy. She also said that patience means we sometimes have to wait for something to happen instead of it happening right away or when we want it to happen. I remember that. The Bible story she told us was interesting and it was about Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah did not have any children. This made them sad, but they prayed to God that they could have a baby. God told them they would have a baby boy. They waited and waited many years and still did not have a baby. Finally, when they were very, very old and thought maybe God had forgotten his promise, they had a baby boy and named him Isaac. This story helps to teach us that God always keeps his promises, and we must be patient. This week, when we want something to happen right away, we can remember this story and learn to be patient. Bye! Hi, my name is Piper. <laughs> and this is my puppy, Jojo. He likes to eat marshmallows and play at a park. This week in Bible class, we learned about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit are things that help us be like Jesus. One of these is kindness. Kindness means we do good things for other people, like when I help my mommy and daddy by putting away my toys. Kindness is when we open a door for a person. Kindness is when we smile at someone who might be sad and say hello to them. Kindness is also when I play with my little brother when I really would rather play with my friends. Jesus likes it when we show kindness to others. This week, let's find someone to be kind to. Bye! Hi, my name is Tommy. This is my friend Bella. This week in Bible class, we learned about the fruit of the Spirit. This week, we studied goodness. Our teacher told us that goodness is when we do what God wants us to, even when we want to do something else. Goodness is also when we do what our mommy and daddy asks us to. Our teacher told us a story about a man called Zacchaeus. He was a tax collector. Yes, he would make people pay more taxes than they needed to and keep it for himself. That is stealing. One day... He met Jesus and learned that he must stop doing what he was doing. Zacchaeus said he was going to stop and would also give back all the money he had stolen. That made Jesus happy. This week, let's look for how we can be good. We can do what our mommy and daddy wants us to, even when we want to do something else. Hi, I'm Piper, and this is my best friend, Bella. We are playing with my puppy, Jojo. <laughs> I promised my friend, Bella, we would ride bikes together this afternoon. This week in Bible class, we learned about the fruit of the Spirit called faithfulness. Our teacher told us that the fruit of the Spirit are things that make Jesus happy. She told us that faithfulness is like when we keep our promises. We learned about God keeping his promise to Noah. All the people in the world were bad except Noah. God wanted to start all over with Noah and his family. God was going to make it rain for a long time. He told Noah to build a giant boat so that he could keep his family and the animals safe until the rain stopped and the water went away. It rained and rained and the flood washed everything away. But Noah and his family and the animals were safe because God protected them, just as he promised he would. This week, we must remember that God is faithful to us, so we must be faithful to Him. We promise to do what God wants us to do. Bye! Hi, my name is Tommy. Today, I made my mommy and daddy sad because I was arguing with my little sister. My mommy said that I was making them sad because I was arguing. She said I was not being gentle. I remember that we learned about one of the fruits of the Spirit called gentleness. Gentleness is when we act kind and how we make the other person feel. Our teacher told us about something Jesus said. He said to treat other people like we want to be treated. If we want to be treated kindly and gently, then we need to treat other people that same way. When we argue and fight, we are not being gentle. 
This week, let's look for changes to treat other people like we want to be treated. Let's look for times when we can be gentle. Bye! Hi, my name is Molly, and this is my cat, Cookie. Ah! I really like chocolate cake. I like it so much, I wish I could eat chocolate cake and ice cream every day for breakfast. I asked my mommy if I could have chocolate cake this morning for breakfast. She laughed and said I had to learn self-control. She said self-control is when we try to do what we should do instead of what we want to do. She said sometimes what we want to do might not be a bad thing, but it's not the right time to do it. Mommy said chocolate cake is good, but not for breakfast and not every day. She promised me that if I helped clean up the kitchen after dinner, that I could have a piece of chocolate cake. I think self-control is like patience. It means sometimes we must wait for something. Let's look at times this week when we can practice self-control. Bye! Bye!